Let me show you in this video how to, um, I keep scrolling to the side there. Uh, let me show you how to uh, make your position versus time graph, okay? What you wanna do is you wanna select your um, position data. So just the position data. I think this is the way to go, like that. So select all of just the position data and the time data, right? And then go insert chart. And that happens to be the graph that I wanted to do. Uh, we're gonna do tangent lines on this. So I'm gonna make this its own sheet, right? Okay. Uh, and then um, I guess we'll edit the chart here. Let's customize it. The legend I feel like, hello. The legend I think it should be inside. Especially once we start adding equations there. Uh, notice that it's got, uh, the title is, I think, a little complex here, right? It could just be versus time, right? That's good. Uh, and then it looks like the axes are correctly labeled, right? So notice that, that when, I, when I selected the data on this sheet, uh, I also selected the column headers, and it, it's clever about that, right? Okay. And then let's rename this. Uh, this is our, our position graph. There we go. Okay. And now um, it's good. These grid lines are good. Uh, we'll use those grid lines later. Um, but what I want to do is I want to look at the series here, right? And let's add a trend line. Okay. Hello. <laughs> I keep clicking on the wrong thing. Okay. Trend line. There it is. Okay. And then uh, we want to label, oh, linear. Linear is not quite good. All right, uh, you want a polynomial one. Now, if it doesn't say second degree, you make it a second degree polynomial, right? Uh, and then the label, let's label it with the equation. Uh, if you want to see the how well it fits, uh, the closer r squared is to one, why, you know, there it is. All right, uh, yeah, okay. And that's looking about right. Okay, whoops, show the r squared. Um, Notice that the, the, it's put an equation on this, right? Uh, and the equation is covering up the points, which is kind of funny, right? Um, the point size, if you want to see the points, you can, it's up to you, right? So those are the actual data points. Uh, and then that line is the uh, trend line that fits those points pretty well. Um, not bad for test data. But anyway, I think that's, that's good enough. That's what we want, right? You're going to print this graph out. And when you do the, the tangent lines, you're going to do the tangent lines on this graph. Okay, um, I think that's good. Okay, so when you print it, let's see what print does. Yeah, there we go. That looks beautiful. Um, and remember, you can't print from your Chromebook. You're gonna have to print from one of the PCs in the classroom. All right.